Good morning, how are you guys? Did you just see Alex? He just walked by. Um, I'm getting ready to go to the event uh, at my mom's health club with Allison Sweeney and uh, Jay and my mom. So I'm getting ready to pull out right now, but I just wanted to say hi before I go. Um, I have my hair up right now so I don't lose my curls uh, before I get there. So I just have it up and I'm gonna have it down. It's pretty curly today. Um, and this is gonna be a crazy, crazy event. I think I'll probably be there for like seven or eight hours. It's a five hour event, but I'm going early. So I'm excited. Uh, I hope I can get you guys some footage there. I don't know how much, cause there are gonna be like 700 people there, but I will do my absolute best. made it here and the bus just tried to pick me up there's a little shuttle that's taking um, like all of the employees over there and when I was pulling out to parking he goes your mom's gonna be mad if you don't park over in the employee parking um, and then you got to be shuttled over I said okay so I'm just waiting on my dad right now and then we're heading over there um, it's like across the street but it's across the highway so they don't want people walking that way which I totally understand so yeah I'm here like two and a half hours early which is cool hopefully we get to see Allison for a little bit before that she's honestly just the sweetest she's so down to earth um, I haven't seen her since I think the season 15 finale so um, I'm excited to see her and also to see Jay and just have a really nice um, empowering day this is the setup for where Allison's gonna be she'll be on the stage and then all of the women will be sitting and standing right here so we're just hanging out right now in this little cafe area there's Jay okay aunt T my dad we're just hanging out until everything gets started with yourself and your, if you came here with a friend or a loved one. You guys are awesome, thank you so much. You feel really good. You Aww. Aww. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah. So, I, I have to tell you, since I know now it's not a hidden violation because she told you about her knee, I need to tell you guys something. So, we were this close to having Allison come because our event was supposed to be in the spring. And um, when we found out over Christmas that she had hurt her knee, um, it, was, it was devastating. One, because I care about her personally and, and I knew how much it would affect you, but also because I knew that our event was going to be either put on hold or we were going to have to find a new speaker. We talked long and hard about it, and we decided that you were worth the wait. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Woo! So, on behalf of all of your friends that can help, I don't know how you can get back with this. I don't know, but there's a lot of nice little gifts, and here we have local delicacies that might be a little sugar. I'm not sure. <laughs> but we wanted to thank you. Thank you so much for being here, and I can obviously these women inspire us all. Woo! I 
I know the lighting is so bad right now, but I cannot wait to tell you guys how everything went today. It was so much fun. Um, now my mom, my dad, Jay, myself, and Alex is meeting us here. We're at Outback right now. Uh, we're getting ready to go in. Uh, I was the first one here that pulled up, so we're gonna go eat, and then later this evening, I'll let you guys know how everything went. So I'm home now, guys. Um, Seriously, the day today was so much fun. I can't even explain it. Um, I'm gonna try to explain it though. We got there and it was pretty crazy busy already. Um, and then after about an hour of just like looking around and everything, uh, they said that Allison was there and me, Jay, and my dad went up to go see her um, in my mom's office area. Um, and so we got to talk to her a little bit before the actual event started, like the actual uh, speech started. So she was so sweet. She was asking like, you know, about our lives. Like she follows us on social media and stuff. So she knows what's going on in our lives. Um, so she was asking just, you know, personal questions and it was just really nice to know, um, you know, that she cares, which I, we all knew that she did. She's such a sweet person, um, but it was just really cool, you know, and she met my dad for the first time. Um, and she was super cool. She's like, I know who you are. Like, she was just really sweet about it. And then um, my mom actually introduced her. My mom was the MC of the event today, so she kind of was just keeping everything going and everything. Um, and she introduced Allison, and she, like, made Allison cry. You know, we, I, my mom and I kind of sat and talked about how she would introduce her and I said you know she was just always on our side she was always on our side for everything when we were at the ranch and I can't really say that about everybody you know and she was though she always had our back she always wanted what was best for us as people and not as like tv contestants you know um so we, t we talked a lot about that, how she just always had our back with stuff. And we talked about a couple of instances that she like even stopped production when she just knew things weren't right. And she's like, this isn't right, you guys, you know, and made it right for us uh, as people. So it was just really cool. So my mom kind of talked about that. And, you know, she talked about how she's an actress and, um, you know, she's a producer and she's she does a lot of different things. But... Um, she, the number one thing she is, you know, is a mom and she's a great mom and she really is. She's such a great mom to her kids and Allison was just so touched by that, you know? Um, and she came up and she's like, I can't even talk now because I'm just crying. Uh, and she was so cute and her speech was about an hour and it was just so good. She did such a great job. Um, and then afterwards, you know, she had to get to the airport and she was like going out, but she made sure she got pictures with a lot of people and she like signed autographs and stuff. Uh, and she had told us when we were upstairs, she goes, I really want to get a picture with you guys before I leave. And when she said that, we were kind of walking out of the room because we had to get down to the event. Um, and she's like, I want to get a picture. We got to make sure we get a picture. Uh, and so when she was, when she was done with her speech and we were kind of just like standing there waiting and just chatting and stuff, she, uh, came over and I said, can I please get a picture of you with my aunt? Cause my aunt really wanted a photo. And I wasn't like, I didn't have to have one you know I was um I have plenty of pictures with her we've gotten pictures at almost every finale and she's just always super sweet uh and but after I took the picture with my aunt for her uh Allison's like we have to get our picture and then we got our we got the pictures we got a couple of them actually and she was just so sweet and she goes here can you airdrop them to me and I tried to send them and it didn't work um and they're like rushing her out the door like you have to go you have to go to the airport she's like oh my gosh i said i'll just i'll just tweet him to you it's all good i'll just send him through twitter so i sent her the photos uh and she immediately posted them she put uh my mom on her feed and she put jay and myself and some of the other people she met there um on her instagram story so it was just really cool you know like she's just so down to earth and real and uh we just really enjoyed it. So uh, I hope you got, you guys enjoyed seeing some of the pictures and a little bit of the video footage and stuff. But honestly, it was just such a beautiful day. It really was very empowering. I met so many awesome women. Uh, I had good conversations with a lot of women there. Uh, you know, people were just asking some questions. Like one lady came up and was asking about low carb and um, cause she's, she didn't even know that that's what I do, but she was just like, do you think that that can work? And I said, you know, Here's the thing, I think that anything can work for anyone that is that you're willing to do it. If you're willing to do it forever, 
then it's going to work for you. You know what I mean? If it's something that you feel you can do for life, that's what matters. And for some people, that's keto. And for some people, that's being a vegan. And for some people, that is, uh, you know, calorie counting. And for, it's, it's just different for everybody. And I said, so do you feel like you can, you know, be a low carber forever? Like, do you feel like that's a lifestyle for you rather than a diet? She said, I do. And I said, then I think it's the thing for you, you know? And I really believe that. Um, and she was just so, she was so sweet. Nancy, if you're watching, you just, you were so sweet and I love talking to you. And I met so many other women today and I saw, you know, I talked and chatted with so many people uh, that work at Omni and it was just a great, great, great day. I feel like my cup is very full right now, you know? Um, so I'm glad I was able to do that. I don't always love, like, I guess, Biggest Loser events. And I guess for me, that's because, I don't know, I... I feel like a lot of times when things are surrounded by like just strictly Biggest Loser stuff, a lot of times it's just like all about weight and uh, the way people look, like the way us contestants look and not about who we actually are. And you know, for me, I just, I'm not really willing to like give my time and energy to somebody that doesn't actually want to know me. Like they just want to look at me and judge me for the way that I look rather than getting to know me. And so sometimes I just am like, I'm not involved in stuff like that. And it's, I guess it's not just Biggest Loser stuff. It's just being like around that type of energy in general, you know? Uh, but I knew this was going to be a different type of event. And it was, it was just so, it was just so great and then jay i got to catch up with jay which was incredible i love him he was my ranch dad and he um has always supported my mom and myself and we've always supported him and jen for all of these years and we are just like it's just really cool when really any of us from season 11 come together again because we truly do have each other's backs and we want what's best for each other um you know and I, I like I've always said I loved my experience with Biggest Loser um, but I think the main thing I loved the most was just the people I've met you know and the people that I've been able to stay close with and there are some people that I'm not close with and I never will be and I don't agree with them on a lot of things and that's okay you know we don't have to agree with everybody but I can honestly say for most of my cast of season season 11 if not all of them I can't think of anybody uh, that you know, we just don't stay in touch with at least a little bit, you know, and that we wouldn't have their backs if they needed us. Like I, our season was very special and we really, um, cared for each other. And, and that's what I mean by special is we truly weren't there to compete with one another. I guess we wanted the best for each other day in and day out, you know? So being with Jay and just kind of reminiscing a little bit and just, just let, we just laugh every time we're together. We just laugh so much. So it was a, a, a good day of a lot of laughing and I just had a blast. I really did. So uh, it, it made me look forward to the cruise next month even more because I feel like it's going to be that like similar kind of energy, you know, where uh, you're just around like-minded people and people that just want to be their best selves and it's not nobody is being judgmental nobody is um trying to compete with the next person we're all just trying to live the best life that we can and empower one another to do that and so i think that that i truly believe that's how the cruise is going to be and i'm super super excited about it so all in all it's been a really good day and i just really enjoyed myself if you couldn't tell by this eight minute <laughs> chat here <laughs> but I hope you guys felt like uh you know you got to see a little bit of it here and uh enjoyed the pictures and stuff and I wish you all could have been there I hope we can do this again so if you're local uh my my mom's company does this every year they do the day of dance um and they always try to bring in you know someone cool to speak I think Allison has been the best so far you know she's been awesome but she even said she's like when I come back when I come back like she was really cool so maybe she'll come back next year if she does all my local friends better be here I'm just saying Nala Nala what are you doing are you trying to play are you trying to play hello Look at that stain. Hey. <laughs> hey. What are you do? Come here. Come over here. Come over here. Hello. Can you come lay by mommy? No, not play. Come lay by mommy. Okay, or don't. Just chilling with my ball, guys. 
Hey, are you just are you just laying with the ball? What are you doing, Nolly? Excuse me. What is it? What do you smell? Another ball? Nice hair. What's up? What's up with the hair today? I have hair. Yes, you do. Did you have a good day today? I did. I had a great day. We missed you at the at the event. I missed you too. But somebody had to work. <laughs> he always holds the fort down. And then he always comes home and plays his game for a little bit. It seems like on the vlogs that's all you do. <laughs> but that's not all he does. He's a very hard worker, so he deserves his downtime too. Right, Boo? You say so. <laughs> and he, if you can notice over here, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in to the Starbucks that he's still currently drinking very late. Look at it. It's almost midnight. And he still has Starbucks. Come on. What are you about? When did you finish it? 25 minutes ago. Right. We got to go to bed, V. I'll be fine. <laughs>